Hey guys, Janet here today. So today I received my July 2024 Pink and Main card kit. This is the only, I think only the second box I've gotten in the subscription because I think I started it last month in June because I liked the ocean one. Um, I debated on whether to get this one because they do show at the beginning of the month what the kit's going to be on their YouTube channel. Um, and it is cute, but I'm just not needing any more card kits right now. So I don't know that I'm going to keep this one long term. Um, and this, this company does not do Christmas themed boxes. So the only reason I would continue would be to get the Christmas ones. But I went ahead and got this one because I did like a lot of the things that came in it. So I'm going to show you what I got. It comes wrapped up nice and neat in tissue paper. And I do enjoy these kits, so don't get me wrong, I like them. But as you guys have already seen in my other videos, I'm just getting really piled up with kits. And until I start getting some put together, it's just, it's crazy <laughs> to keep getting them. So, this is the sheet that kind of shows the color palette for what the month is going to look like. And then on the back, they've got some card sketch ideas, which I think is kind of cool. I mean, I've got a bunch of my own sketches and stuff from other companies, but it is nice that they put these in there. Then you get your card stock. So you get the white, two of those, purple, there's like a lime green, and they have names for their colors. I don't know what they all are. I guess they're probably on the front of this. Yeah, they've got the colors on the front of this. Um, so the green is moss, the purple is night sky. Then there's this like foil paper. And then orange is construction, pink is salon, it looks like. So um, that's their color palette and what colors you can expect in this one. And this one is called Sweet Birds. And one reason I thought about not getting this kit was because I just got some Queen & Company shakers that were bird themed. So I didn't really feel like I needed any more bird themed stuff. But I like some of the stamp sets and stuff that came in here. So... You get your mesh envelope, and then here's one of the stamp sets. I really just like the sayings on it. Um, I didn't get a chance to really compare it to the stamps that came in my Queen & Company kit to see if I'm getting a lot of duplicates, but um, it says, I'd go out on a limb for you. I really like that one. You make my heart flutter. There's always a place on my branch for you. Miss you, tweet friend. Sending you a tweet, hello. I'll always sing your praises. I think that one's cute. Hope your birthday is tweet. Singing you a birthday melody. Have a tweet day. Thinking of you and thank you. So I thought that was a really cute stamp set. So I liked that. And I also really liked this one. So it's got your basic sentiments on it. Congratulations, happy birthday, with sympathy, just a note. Thank you, get well soon, happy anniversary. Welcome, little one, and hello, sweet friend. But what's really cool is they actually go with banners, which you get those dies in here as well. So kind of going backwards. I usually do all the little stuff first. but um, So these are the banner dies that these sentiments can fit in. So I kind of thought that was neat. Um, it's got a lot of little flowers and leaves and stuff. I already have some dies that are similar in in pattern and probably even size of these. But I did think that I liked the stamp sets enough. And the paper pad's cute. The dies are all cute too. Um, again, I just, I don't know. I don't know how long I'm going to do this one. And I'm, you know, like I said, I'm going to cycle through a whole year with my Stamps of Life ones. Because I know they do Christmas ones. So, but this is what the banners look like. And what all the little flowers and twigs and stuff look like. So it is cute. The question is just, do I need it? <laughs> and then this is what these birds look like. So these are bird dies, which again, I think are cute. But the more I do craft, the more I find that the odds of me putting together all these little pieces and doing all the paper piecing is slim to none. I don't tend to grab for those dies very often that I do have like that. I love the finished looks. Like, I love the way that these are, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to end up putting them together or not. We'll see. All right, and then you get these, like, white... They're not really gems they're not they're not rhinestones necessarily they're not like su i guess they're calling them gems they're not rhinestones they're not super blingy but they're just kind of like a white and then 
when the, the light hits the different fauceted sides, it does make a little bit of a shine. So I don't think the camera really picks that up, but that's that. Um, there's some twine. I really don't need any more twine ever again, but it did come with twine. And then it came with some iridescent sequin mix, which I think is really pretty. And they're like those flat sequins without the holes in them. I kind of like those. And then let's go ahead and go through the paper pad. It's called Happy Days. It is very bright and cheerful. It's kind of springy looking. I mean, we're in the summer. This kind of reminds me of spring, but that's fine. I mean, the paper pad is usually what sells me on a kit generally, and I cannot get this one open. The paper pad was one of the things I absolutely loved about last month's kit. So, um, and I loved all the dies in that. Now that one had a lot of piecing dies too, where you had to piece the things together. I don't know if I'll ever do that. We'll see. But I have a lot of ocean themed stuff. So if I don't, it's not the end of the world. I'm going to turn this to the side so you can kind of see both sides better. So it is a very pretty paper pad. It probably is a little similar to things that I already have. So again, I really went back and forth with myself with this one, whether I was going to get this kit or not. Because I know you can skip a month and you can cancel at any time, which I think is really great of Pink and Main to do. Um, I like not being locked in to a set amount of time. So I think we're starting over here. Yeah. That's, I think, a great selling point for their kits is that you don't have to be signed up for, you know, like Stamps of Life was a minimum of three months. So I am past that with them. But, but yeah, this is everything that came with the kit. Again, very cute kit. I just don't know if I'll do all the paper piecing with the birds. We'll see. But I do want to kind of see how these stamps um, relate to the stamps that I already have in my Shaker Bird kit. So... Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you do ever want to subscribe to the Pink and Main, I, I don't have any kind of affiliate links or anything like that, but um, you just go to the Pink and Main website and you click on like subscriptions or Crafty Courtyard Box, that's what it's called, is a Crafty Courtyard Box, and you can subscribe. I think it's like 45 or $46 a month after shipping is added. Um, you do get a great value for the price because I noticed... Last month, they did add all the stuff from the kit pretty much onto their website, the Ocean Kit, but I added it all up with how much I would spend on it, and that's even with my 15%, because you get 15% as a club member too, and I think even with the 15%, I think that it was a lot more expensive to buy it all individually than it is to get it in the monthly kit, so that is also really kind of cool. You kind of get first dibs at it, and you get a discount, so... I also do enjoy getting that 15% off if I do buy stuff, but this is what came this month. Um, we'll see what happens with next month. I guess when I see what the kit looks like, that's another thing I really love that I get to see what it looks like before I make that decision because I don't know what the date is I have to change or cancel or skip or whatever by, but since it doesn't ship out until like the 15th or something of the month, I think it's the 15th, um, I, I'm assuming I have time to make that decision based on if I want the kit or not. So I think Pink and Main is doing the kit thing right. I just think that I don't need any more kits right now. <laughs> so we'll see. But that's all the information I can think of about the kit if you are interested in the kits. They've had a lot of really good ones in the past for sure. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.